Hello guys, welcome on my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to uh, do a little tutorial on how to make email signs, like the ones you used to see in old buildings. I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, this is what I mean. Um, these signs were a lot in France and Belgium, but also here in Holland. Now. Uh, what are we going to need to make these signs? Uh, we are going to need some glossy photo paper, a color printer, some matte black paint and some brown paint. Uh, I use uh, leather brown uh, for uh, almost all my chipping. I'm just going to make it uh, slightly darker with uh, black. We are going to need some standard rust. It's from MAC. Pigments. Old rust pigment, and that's about it. Now, if you are handy with photo editing software, uh, you can make your own signs uh, by the way. But I always like to make existing signs. Um, you can find these on Google, uh, just search for email signs uh, under pictures. Uh, don't worry about the size, for you can change the size in, for example, Word. Uh, that's a program I use. I just copy and paste the pictures in Word and give them the size I want. Uh, I'll make different sizes so I can choose what size is the best. Now after printing out that on glossy photo paper you will get this. This is uh, what I printed out before. If you can see uh, the, all the different sizes uh, so you can choose what size you want uh, for your uh, building or a wall or whatever. Now just cut the sign out with a, a new or at least a very sharp blade. So I will do that now. So let's choose a sign. I'm going for uh, the Pickwick uh, T sign. I'm using a ruler for this. But if you are using a ruler, just be very careful not to make any scratches on the freshly printed sign. For it would uh, be uh, a shame uh, if you have some scratches on it. Or we are going to make our own scratches. And there he comes. But it's not done yet. Uh, one of the typical things these signs had uh, was their shape. Uh, they were a bit orb or a sphere as you would like. Uh, this is too uh, flat, so they were a bit sphere. Now how to do that? Uh, it's pretty easy. We'll do that uh, by uh, gluing a little piece of plastic card at the back side of uh, this uh, paper sign. I'm going to do that now. Um, watch out for your fingers when you are doing that. Alright. Now we are going to need some glue for it. I'm using uh, some super glue. Just a little strip will do. Just place it at the back of the sign. Like this. Okay, so this is done. Now before I'm going uh, to uh, make it a bit more uh, sphere, I'm going to weather it. For otherwise I'm pressing it uh, flat uh, again. I'm just going to take a paper. So uh, I can work on uh, that. And, uh, after that I can throw it away. So no cleaning up uh, required after that. Okay, um, sponge technique. Let's mix some color. First up, some brown. 
not too much just a drop will do then some black and we're mixing it all together with some water it's a, a one to one base like that okay and then you take the sponge and dip it in after you dipped it in just make sure you dip uh, as much off as possible then begin to weather the sides as I said before less is more so don't overdo it As a matter of fact, this chipping what I'm doing right now with the sponge is the same technique I'm using on my vehicles. I think it's uh, working uh, really great. And it's uh, fast also. Maybe the, it's a nice thing to know. Uh, the sponge I use is from uh, a dishwasher sponge. I uh, just cut it in uh, some pieces. That's what I'm using. I hope it's a bit visible here. Quick check. Okay, now that's done. We are going to add some rust to it. So I'm going to dilute my chipping paint what I used earlier now I'm going to apply some rust now there are many ways to do apply rust but I am doing it this way I wet my paper a little bit then I will dry off this brush, dip it in all the rust, and dip it in the wet. Now just apply it on the sides of the sign. Maybe a little bit more. Again. Less is more, so don't overdo it. It's the old rust. Just take some off. This is step two. I hope you can see it. Now we are going to step three. Some standard rust. I'm going to do that the same way 
I just did with the old rust. This time I apply it a little bit more randomly. This is going to be a a heavily wetted uh, sign, I see. <laughs> no, that's okay. This is step number two. Or number three. I don't know. Kind of lost track here. And when that's done. I'm going to clean up a little bit. For pigments make always a lot of mess. Right. New sheet of paper. Now to make that sphere, that orb, I applied that little plastic strip at the back side, so you are just going to fold the paper around that plastic strip. Uh, again, be very careful doing that, for otherwise you will get too sharp folds. So just make it a little bit round, so you will get that recognizable shape of those signs. Here you have it. So far this tutorial guys, uh, I hope you liked it and um, if there are any questions or comments please let me know. Uh, this is Flying Dutchman signing off. Happy modeling guys. Cheers.